and again on the battlefield today with the daily missions and then a little bit event gameplay with action Disobeying me again. I am done with being your warlock. On uh, stun, yeah. it's really powerful with every one of based deck. In this case, for example, Angorn. Since it's only the beginning of the uh, season, 5th May, I'm playing around a little bit with the decks. So this is not the normal deck I play, this is not a test deck. Yeah, it's okay, but it's not so strong like it could be. But yeah, when this deck will not succeed, I will take every time now another deck and see how far we can come. Yeah. Still waiting for the space rules.
but it did work. Next match, like I said, when the warlord dies, I will take another one. Yeah, also they revealed today on Facebook a new card from Space Force. It will uh, be really nice so far as so. Uh, will be made here. It's uh, one energy. Push back all uh, cards uh, on the board. They get null energy that you can play them with, uh, without costs. And then put the back in the deck. Not in your hand, but back in the deck means you will uh, you will get uh, cards um, with null energy out of it with troops which you have on the board like when you have ambassador melegato or something you will get them back on the hand which is awesome I never tired to say first the troop then the tactic These new cards with one energy you draw um, Yeah you draw um, a tactic you deal three damage or if you don't draw a tactic then you will only um, wait just doing the turn um, then you will deal three damage to the enemy warlord which is a really good starter card and can also be a decider card if you need 3 damage more. Yeah, in the case it's um, Remy Yara's out, you should play this. Unlucky, only 1 damage, we stun him. And he's finished. Which is pr quite good here to finish that ugly Conrad Cruz in the 8th turn is not bad. Means I did a lot of damage. Yeah, and I will do a lot of damage more here. Yeah, it's okay. So this card is really nice, I would say. 100 games here today. There is a special offer that that you get um, 100 games in the shop. Uh, many warlords. This is a normal shop. Everybody could see. And if you log in daily, you will see this special shop where you have then much more. Yeah, Gabriel Santar this is the only warlord from them I don't have, but I don't like him so much. But he is not worse. He's really nice. So now go, we're going to the event and playing with Axerp. Only three days left. And it's still a while to go for our, our launch the Thunder Warriors for the gold game. Yeah, good start end here. Let's go. Let us begin. I can help you achieve perfection. By the way, I found out that one of the underestimated start cards 
the sc is one the screamer. But because when he um, is out, the enemy you have to deal with it. He can do what he want. He needs to deal with it because you have uh, sneak attack. It means that the, the troops doesn't attack back, and he can attack as often as he wants. And this can be pretty awesome, if, especially when you have the initiative. Means you have first three and the enemy down. Then it's really nice. Card is also nice. Possesses is not often means the troop will give relentless and deal um, two damage, which is okay for me since I'm already an advantage. More troops out than he has. In this case, I'm taking the damage, but the advantage is then really huge. Now I can deal a damage. Yes, dear. Won't kill nothing, and so I get two times a damage. This is really nice here. Now he's on six. Putting out some troops and he's on three. I take one more to be sure that he's dead next round. Unstoppable. This means even his frontline two were not protected from the pass. Yeah, they buffed a little bit this new only event warlord with one of the baddest artwork or worst artworks in the whole game. His name is. Um, oh, I don't know the name it. If you can choose cards, I will tell you. Let us begin. Yeah. His name is Julius Casero. And they buffed him really hard, I think, because Battle Honor gives him now two energy back. That means if he destroys the troop like this one here with uh, two energy back, this only gives him one damage. Which is quite like nothing. Uh, okay, this guy seems to be new. Well, this was the card he needed to play in the mid or end game to make a troop strong. Fast card should be uh, saved. The better it is. In this case, uh, 
I attack here and steal his front line card. It must obey. Next round, see you wreck. steal his demon but first I do this to keep the pressure more high next round I will steal it Mate must be a new one. You can see often when they are like searching cards or, or don't use perfection. Wow. Yeah, we see you now his uh, battle honor ability, which make him quite strong if you know how to use it. Yeah, we play another because then we can get additional damage. gonna get this one yeah with that winning three damage getting this nice thingy here Need another three and now it's gonna be already close for him action we'll destroy him Let's count. We three and it's done. Nice. Let's go for the twelve. Now this Akshub deck is quite good. Yesterday I played Erlen deck, which was really slow. This is, by the way, Davin's chosen. I think it's one of the best decks in the moment event. Of our lovely game. 
design flow really nice screamers is good yeah this i can replace good start and so far again versus bile the genetic freak from the emperor's children let us begin i can help you achieve perfection Thirst. One of the strongest ability of Bile. He shouldn't have used it. Of course, he got the chance to get six damage through, but a big but. Um, if he want enhanced one more time, then would be better. I would have poker this. This is what I meant before with the screamer. Really nice start card. This combination is really strong with Bile to play Yubak. Um, of course, now he can enhance him, he will get stronger, and he's not the fast destroy. Depends on what he's doing next. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Two times most plus two plus one here. A genetical freak Nurgling. Yeah, big butt. He should have destroyed. Uh, my troop. I will let it here. Maybe he's biting it. Exactly what I wanted. No, oh, this is not exactly what I want. But no matter. Yeah, this is awesome. I think uh, plus two, plus two. Yeah. This is why I love bile. Yeah, the warrior lords give you the troops with cars plus two, plus two. This is quite good. And I think I have to sacrifice this troop. I have no other chance. Unfortunately. Of course the screamer were much, much, much too dangerous. Wow, this bile is in perfect. Yeah, but big but I gonna steal this troop now. He's mine. I'm playing Z Rex. And now I got the advantage. The power of action. Yeah, now again, I will steal this ogre. I need to count. Yeah. So I take him with that one here. Since he anyway get is a pretty nice. Put out that one here and will destroy that ugly thingy here. And he gave up before fighting.
was one of our Russian players. I saw that the Russian community is big, so Dorova, Dalai, Igrai, uh, something like this. We we'll see us next time. How was it on Russia? Paka, Dalai Ladna. <laughs> Again, Screamer here, uh, Dark Engineer, also nice car, uh, car supporting card. For me, it was an engineer. Maybe I saw now it's engine seer. Let us begin. Maybe it's a typo. I'm not sure. Now it was Saul Travis. Yeah, the whole ability is to spend null energy and uh, then play a fast card or another card with one energy less, which is really helpful. So I won't attack with that troop. I could. But if I am down to take and spend it another, I can make a circle. But I'm too greedy. Today I'm greedy. And you will maybe deal 3 damage to it. So I am going better in the safe way. Yeah. And you could do uh, 3 damage. Good that I didn't do it like that. In this case, I take the damage from the tank to get it. After the round, unfortunately, the defense satellite didn't do enough damage to destroy it. Since I'm stunned, I couldn't do this. So let's see what we do. This one is worse. Uh, Thanks to the Dark Engineer, I got another troop out. It's not over yet. This is his round. Good play. Yeah, one unfortunate card can change the game. But we never give up. 
see you now many playing bile but the vent decks from bile from my opinion are not so good let us begin so let's see This round starts a little bit unfortunate, but a big butt will never get up. It's all open till the end. Sadly, there were no other way. I needed to sacrifice this troop. Oh, he will have regrets now. Yeah, I can't do anything more. Unlucky here, also only two damage. Since this troop has sneak attack, uh, it will get no additional damage while it's attacking me. Normally you should put that one. Crazy guy, still winning. So let's see. That's only two. any of these troops to one which is strong so uh, yeah. unfortunate but it's a game
I am. Good game of Nalak. Oh, well done. This bile was really annoying. Still one life left. Still some roads to go. Yeah, only nine more. We get this. Let us begin. I am a death guard. No more. One damage, yay! Nice. I deal five, and since he has only one health, I will remove him and get him again. It's better than one I had. The other one was damaged. Unlucky again for him. Five damage. And in this case I destroy the bike. Since when you hit him. Nice. Protected me from damage. And he did ten damage direct in the beginning. This is why what I meant before with screamers is a really underrated start card. Now this is good. I can attack him. Oh yeah, but I'm stunned. I didn't. I uh, forgot it again. <laughs> now let's get close here. We have good troops out. I would like to have this one. Unbelievable. Yeah, you get me down to... Uh, nice. That's exactly what I needed. Cause since this deck has no frontline troop... So... Depends all on his next card. If we have endurance or something like this, I'm dead. If we can to deal to damage, otherwise I win. Ah! And yeah. 
that screen here again. But don't worry, we have more tickets. Oh yeah. So let's see what next. We have again a uh, axe shop here. Zaul Travitz and a bile. And maybe I can show the other nice deck of Eggshop. There was another one. You know, this is from De Darwin Shoten is the one I played now. And now I will play from Delphos. Which is the better deck of the both. Decks which you can play here in this game at the moment. Let's see. Ah, oh, awful started. Better. Let us begin. I am a death guard. No more. Yeah, also a nice start card. Uh, underrated start card is maybe this one. But Screamer is better. Saving life now. Played out the troop first. This will higher the chances. And get some damage here. From now, Jira, the Sedusa, with a muscle, awesome ability, also. Boot, big boot. Oh. Yeah. The thing is, when I take here, I steal it. much better so I do with this yeah no problem since Duke Motesha will put this troop in again Maybe better I can get him down to six or eight. Five. So 
comes the moment. Yeah, we'll sacrifice the Duke. Otherwise it will be only destroyed. But I like the Duke. Ah, this is bad. I can't sacrifice him, sorry. I do better like this. And destroy it. Yeah, this was a better choice. Since I like the Duke. Like Duke Nukem. Let's make and bake him. Or rest in pieces. One of the best games ever made in history. Yeah, so easy now. The Duke will put him in. And I put out the troops. And leaving one damage. And it's so done. Eleven, eleven, and he has five more survivors. So a little bit advantage for him now. But we're gonna make it if it's God's will. Inshallah. And he's down to five. Which is quite awesome, I think. Understanding this uh, curse of the Nurgling or chosen of the Nurgling card will give mark of cows. There are four marks of cows, and it gives the one with additional attack who has his only <laughs> chance to win, and that happens. This is Murphy's law. What the f? 
There are days there like this. Unbelievable. Uh, I skip this round. Since I have no cards and I save life because these guys are playing very angry. But no problem. We start not to steal and make his troops obey. Really funny man. Troop here gets stronger if you water the attacks. So I attacked once and then he gets stronger. Also, this will make my Slayer of Worlds stronger. The more troops die, the faster I can play him, and in an event deck, it's nearly impossible to destroy him. Nearly, of course. <laughs> Keeping up the pressure and then taking him. Yeah, this uh, troop here will damage random units. So I first try... Uh... Nice. That's what I wanted. Unfortunately, it destroys the other troop also. Two one, yeah. This is okay though, this troop can attack only one, but we destroy it. 11 11. Slayer of Worlds is on 10 now. Still, this is gonna be close also. All close matches today. <laughs> energy but a big but again no defensive troops so, so if he can deal six damage now it's over if it, this one uh, done close games here no present in this game Also one of the new uh, warlords from this event, Aximant. Let Maybe next begin. ticket I can play him once. The, the little Horus, Horus Aximant, that's why he's called Horus Aximant. 
because he's so much looking like Horus himself. Also called for in the morning world little Horus is a little bit uh, history background from the Heresy. Yeah, I would first play this card. I love the card. His ability is like really useless. It deals one any to the enemy and then one to the cards on the left and the right. Yeah. We remember that ability from a uh, known world eater. Oh lord, it's nearly the same. Sometimes you have this difficult decision since I can't uh, deal 3 damage and steal this troop. I need to make a counter turn. Gonna stun me now. That is quite good. Maybe he's dumb enough to attack. He is. Don't know. This is mine. And so, yeah, no more can do because of the maintenance of this demon. 70-17. Troop advantage. Hard to see. Uh, I can see now. Just the tennis. Nice. So nice one here with Breach, you deal 5 damage, I steal him, since I have now a frontline trooper, I attack him and he's down on 12. Like I said, I don't see many tactics in this deck. This time he could use his ability for good. Lucky for me. Unlucky for him. Sedusa is coming. The finisher card. So a little break, be right back.
Yeah, and back Let again with that shot on the battleship. Another bile is coming. Yeah, good that I got Slayer of the, the Worlds early. If you get him early, then it's more likely you set him out because many troops will die. Good enhancement here. In this case, I do a little trick. I just tag with him and get him new. So I'm still at the 1-1 one, one situation with the troop out, troop out. Lucky me. <laughs> in this case I did the right choice this means I could attack him get, he has one I get the troop new so it's still the one one situation and yeah this caused him to not attacking this action plan would clone this troop yeah, this is good for a bile if you put out first the Hall of the Reeds and then the other troops which will give him uh, stealth. If they are stealth. Ah, sad. I can't. And not enough energy to clone it. Otherwise I would clone it again. And I have this Hall of Rights. This is really strong card. Really after the nerf. Four four. So now comes the moment. First, we steal this Hall of Light. Second, we restore what he have out. Third, we're attacking, he's down on 10. Let's see what's happened. Seven now. Okay. Um. Nice. Nice. And I got this troop. Your death is required to proceed. Yeah, and it's over for him. But just for the record. We see the power of this deck. The next match.
was a nice silent. Let us begin. I will take great pleasure in this combat. Yeah, let's see how much the pleasure will be. Nice card, I want to make him obey to my card here. Yeah. Next round, maybe. Send the troop to jam it with that card. This was not really necessary. Oh, nice! He can destroy it now, and only take two damage since his battle honor. Yeah, they all don't know how to play this guy because his battle honor will heal now two. So if he destroys this, it will be only two damage, and he won't. Uh, won't get four damage now. And yeah, this is quite strange. We didn't know that they can use this ability now or something. I don't know. Because they buffed him. He can now heal with Battle Honor 2. That means if you're attacking the troop with four energy, this will be like only two damage, which is like nothing. Nothing. Two and four. Here, next round, I will set out Tanstret and Tialat's changers. Wow. Maybe I will only set out Tialat. Depends now. Yeah, I set out Tialat. Drawing this here for sure. Nice, that's what I wanted. Putting out the engineer and attacking the warlord. Huge advantage now.
So I will do now a bad trick here. I attack him. I get this dude back alive. Is that not it? Attack him. Yeah, and that was it. And four wins. So in comparison, this is a better action deck, like the one before I was playing. Nice. Let us begin. Slayer of the world is really direct. Last round versus travels are lost. Let's see how this time. Yeah, this is one of the strengths of Tyrants. Now he will use his ability and maybe destroy this troop with the Atoshin squad, the, one of the best cards. No. He wants to stun me. Yeah. Etoshin Squad is one of the best cards for uh, my friends here. I destroy him. Since more sacrifices means more food for the Slayer of the World. And so come the moment. So the Slayer of the Worlds is now already playable. Better clean the board, so I clean the board. So nice, next round already the Slayer of Worlds will come. He's down to 16. already I don't know that was it for him it's too late for that the 
And already five wins. We're going for the twelve guys. Now mirror match action versus action. I go second. Let us begin. We must be swift. Let us begin. By Delphos, I greet you. By Delphos, I greet you. Interesting match now, the mirror match. <laughs> See, Rek, they have a little bit 30 27, they have a little bit advantage. One troop out. Steal it, but I will get him back. Now I can put out uh, the Duke and show to Zeus's special ability is Battle Honor to get stealth. So I can destroy him, get stealth, this drops on 8, and next round it's time. And the turn of him. High possibility that he destroys the seducer. But he didn't. So nice now. I just need two more death to get the seducer on the field. So I kill him. He's on seven, six. That's it. I put out the seducer, destroy that troop. And now we have big trouble. So decision turn, the 
depends now what he's doing next. I shall feast on your heart. Another enemy is gone. And we're pushing for the 12. Elaine now. Good start hand. 3, 4, 5, 5. Really nice. Let us begin. Blades out. Blades out. Yeah. I keep that life versus Elaine. He will do the damage by himself. Round here a lot. now but I think this match gonna be close now it's gonna be much more difficult 15 15 three troops out can deal 11 damage he will win and maybe stop our win streak if not it's over for him next round I can uh, throw defense at the light and at the least strike which is even without the troop maybe enough to kill him if he destroys the troop now Five damage, and six damage on the field. Okay. Yeah, they got it. Go forward. Yeah. yeah. This was much more close, but still win. Another Boroski Davarish. Now we are on seven victories. Only five left. Yeah, it's much, much better than the other deck. Uh, this is worse started than we reduce it. The 
opponent already feared the power of Akshop and just left the game. Unlucky for him. I hate when this happens and I don't wish for it. I better like to play. Ah, good, he's back. Maybe he can stop now the win streak. What we don't Let us begin. Nothing you defy is like a war. You will try to not let him go. Power with COVID. Nice layer of the worlds is already here. So I can't use them. More troops die, more fast I eat there to eat them. In this case this turn here is required to Defend um, the Dark Engineer and also free the Slayer. damage to him and food for the Slayer. He's always more effectful with Axeship to steal the troops if you can, when it's a better strong troop than uh, to play your own. <coughs> then his board will be clean and you have his troops, which is really awesome. Play of the worlds is on 10. And now we play C back. Destroy that one here. Nice, one additional air damage. And there. He will destroy next round this troop here. So he will drop on 7. And this time, troop also dies. And I can already bring him out next round. One dead shot, he's on eight. You back. Oh lovely you back. Yeah, always destroy you back. Otherwise you will make huge trouble. And now it's already the time. So if you have nothing to destroy this troop we can get next round 20 damage in one turn. That's the power of action. Maintains is real. <laughs> only one energy, but also only one turn left for him. No matter what he do. And the water's clean. Oh 
New Zealand will be not enough. It's so it's nice. Still, the maintenance scores are really By high. The butcher's nails. By the butcher's nails. Ah! And it's done. The butcher's nails won't help. And we have already eight wins. Four more to go for the twelve. Let us begin. For honor. Really nice start hand. Whether the bot is sometimes more hard in the wind than versus a human. Of course, this is a huge difference to uh, the dailies. In the dailies, it's like you are used to your deck and everything, but uh, versus a bot. No matter if you know the deck or not, he will just play. And sometimes in the event, so, so I feel you don't know the the deck, and then he's doing really nice things like that. You like, like that turn. Every human would do the same. I can't clone him, unfortunately. So I destroy him, defeat him. Next round is our. Or oh, better, my best friend. situation now uh, with, this is really one of the great things I can steal the fast troop destroy the enemy destroy the other troop and set another troop out and this is really crazy of course now I, if you don't destroy it I can uh, destroy it unlucky but otherwise I would play the fast troop again Only three wins to go. Soon we have the twelve. If it's got well, we never know what happened next.
begin. Yeah, and another bot, I think when you uh, get over a certain point, because in this event not many have uh, 9 plus wins, you will go only worse spots. But not sure with that. In this case this was good, depends now if he's attacking or not. Okay, 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 but still I can steal. Yeah, now I can steal this troop from him. it and put out the rhino. Okay. So I can't steal it again. Boot, a big boot. Yeah, I put out this troop in this case. And attacking here. Down on 13. Down on six. First play here.
And another win. Two wins to go for the 12. I hope we can get this. From Delphos. Is the deck. Let us begin. I can help you achieve perfection. Maybe for that guys who are wondering why the last matches in this went are only worth spots. Um, there's an algorithm this uh, will let you fight with uh, or tries to let you fight with enemies with the equal win count. Means when you get over a certain win count then um, it's uh, much more difficult to um, Make clear which deck is uh, which uh, which enemy has the same win count, or there will be nobody like over four, over five wins. So you will get it with the bots. Why now the last matches are only worth sports. Of course, uh, I'm over the win count of like six, uh, six or seven, and that's why. Nice to show. Let's see. Eidolon, Emperor's Children, Lord Commander, is out on the field. I will try this. Clone him. Sedusha. You see, he, the Sedusha is a demon, so you won't be affected of the Hall of Rights. He will attack once a warlord now, but it's over for him. This is why you play with spots. When you, especially in this event, there are not many. They come over six wins, seven wins, and then play with spots at the end. But it's less okay. I take it. Only one more win, and we have the twelve. And then we get the gold crate. Also, what not everybody is knowing um, when you see the crates here, they have stars like one star. This will also give the rarity, so that means gold crate is not a golden crate, 
there are also difference also with the red one you get one two or three stars and uh, the higher the star the more the rare cards are in it and, yeah. like i said again bot of course nobody is that high in the Let win amount this event So this event is really, really useful to get over six wins. When you're lucky, you go with the bots. So do some stuff. Need to shield squad nice here for me. Bot, a big bot. Better saving. Isharion uh, ignore the maintenance costs of your demons. Okay, okay, okay. So you will get much stronger with that. Of course, uh, demons uh, negative effect will just not work. I see a. Uh, reduced so if you are lucky now it's already over and we have the 12 yay <laughs> finally brothers yeah wow new content when I want to open the crate. Really. And back. This was funny. Balance changes. Wow, okay, okay, okay. Okay, Bob and Falk have been buffed. Gao no longer starts with an extra card, while Tadeus failed, Ingana de Sevata, Macharian, and Bob and Falk have received buffs. Okay. But we want still to open our crate. So, I am also a level up here, oh yeah. Let's see, like you see here, like this free open crate, 
there is not a single star on it. I hope you can see it here. It means here you can see it better. No star. And that means this is very cool. Zero. Really unlucky that you get something. This has rarity one. So it doesn't even matter if this is blue, red, green, uh, golden. If it have only one star or two stars or three stars, a three star red can be better than a golden one star. There's also uh, one thing for me I learned really late in the game that this are so much uh, difference. Yeah, 12 victories. With the egg shop. Remember, was from Delphos' deck. Let's open that crate. We see it's only one star. Salamander's baggage. Malcharion. So you could uh, you, you get some buffs. So I see here battle honor, draw a card, give two plus two to friendly troop. Orbital base, I didn't have this card. When you don't have a card, there will be no jewels under for that, that maybe not knowing. Yeah, and back in. So travels. Julius Carcero. Julius Carcero is now really much better. Horus, Aximan, yeah. Yeah, maybe I will try the buff you you use Caseron. For so Yeah, this sounds like a good deck. Defend yeah, okay. This is something I don't understand why they put yeah, this is good here, but no at the Sheen squad better put, remove this. And two time at the sheet squad, but then it would be overpowered. Exquisite duel. I play one more match with him just to try out if he's good. Will be the last for today because really late. late. Okay, start it. I will take great pleasure in this combat. Blades out. So, yeah, his ability is your next tactic this turns costs two less. So it's really nice when you have a tactic on the hand. Like this one here will only cost three. <laughs> So let's try out. Yeah. Okay, we can see it here now. Well, only because I don't use it yet. Got a better make like this.
that is uh, reducing all cards in the hand from to one less. It's really powerful. And can make a huge difference. Like now I can play Ag Agnomen already one more, more early. Destroy it. Give him another damage. Wow. Give another damage and he's down on 10. Now really dangerous situation already for him. If he can't destroy the Agnomen, it's already over. Unlucky, and it's already done. Let's see what he can say. What a glorious carnage! <laughs> oh, that was fast. One victory. Still the worst image in the whole game. Looks like a little boy draws this one. A really nice card. We, uh, yeah, if you uh, have the Emperor's Pride, you should save it. Can be game changing and it can already play it with two. Since he can reduce tactics with 5 energy, he can play the Fight of the Emperor, which is awesome. This is a really nice deck what he's playing here. Because next round I will play the bikes, and then next round already I will play Pride. Down on 16. In this case, this deck is so good that I don't even need uh, to play like this. Or even if Noise Marine and then Mount Pharos would be still such a nice choice. Technical turn, this turn was too fast. Yeah, okay, but aha, uh -huh, yeah, then I drop under it, so I play the noise marine. And now, plus one, I can play the pride. Like I said, this deck is so nice. Yeah, I will put him down. I put out Agnolin. Wow! And this is over 100%. Yeah, this deck is really strong. It's maybe the strongest uh, in the whole event. 
when the cards come right in the right frequency. Fast three minutes before that was three minutes, and fast means that you can go more tickets. Oh, now where's the taxi man? I will take great pleasure in this combat. Just like in the practice cages. Next round already Agnomen can be played. Huge pressure pressure direct. Good that he wasted this card now. He will attack. So if you can't destroy him right away, I don't know if this deck have outflank. Will be in huge trouble. And he can't destroy it. So huge trouble for him now. Another troop out, clean the board. I, I this is like nothing happened if you put out a troop with two energy. It's completely carnage this deck. Now after the buff. Yeah, do that pressure turn. Destroy that one here. Wow. Getting a tactic. Oh, trap. Five to twenty-four. The hammer. Nice from him here. Nice turn. And it's not over yet. Yeah, what do we do? What do we do? We can play the elite. Use one energy. To play the threat. Teddy to shoot. Then use the belt. And the elite will shoot again. Cleaning the board. One turn to go. And another win. This time it was four minutes. 
Already three wins. Really fast. Now the ultimate test versus Akshop. Of course, give with it a Slayer of the Worlds. Also, this card is, is useless since he has no deck cleaner like Perfection Flight. But, a big but, he still can try his best. So, I have to play fast with it. Yeah, now it's time to show his strength. With two damage, I can destroy this card. Heal two. This means like one damage. This is nothing. Put out another troop. Which is really nice. Versus, uh, versus actual, uh, it's important to not drop on one, so we try our best. <laughs> nice here from him. Good turn, because now I can play Noise Marine. Attack here. And this is only again, wow. you see, the battle honor, it will be like only one damage and we attack here and it's dangerous also for action The next win. This, like I said before, this deck is carnage. Already four wins in under ten minutes. Really nice. Another action.
what is also nice on this uh, card from Julius Cazaron, you can use his ability one to get uh, then. Uh, and now it's difficult. I think it's better to clean the board in this case. But a big but, I'm greedy. Let's try. Let's Yeah, only battle honor meets when the troop die, and yeah, with but with this uh, U.S. custom with this one energy, he can trigger much more perfection, which is really nice here. So now comes the moment. Like I said, this deck is carnage. Already five wins. So we remember if we are like over the 7, 6 wins, there will be only bots. Now we start. This, this time the start end was not so good, but it's okay. Thanks to his ability, we can uh, drop one and then uh, play this other bikes on perfection. Really nice. Like now, I can use his ability. the bike and put him down to 17 next turn Agnomen this one chain same now. so now I play Agnomen he's down on 13 already
that all we had. This time it's more close. Next round we can we'll play the Zubiaki to our title. We should end the game. So it depends now if you have Wang full spirit he can win. This would be the first lose. If not it's over. Dropping on three. No, it's dangerous. Maybe you have the wang full spirit. Oh, only two. Ah, oh, unlucky. Nice one. First lose here. But also, this was really close. Really fast matches, but we are not stoppable. Like before, with the last 12 wins, was from Delphos with Exhub, only one death. So never give up. Yeah, like this, we keep the start hand. I will take great pleasure in this combat. I defy no more. This time is a little bit unlucky. The last two matches with a start hand. The first thing I could do is S4 energy, but still doesn't mean much. Now comes this nice ability. I attack him. I will heal too. So it will be only giving me three damage, which is really awesome. I think he will use his ability or maybe put out a troop and use this card. Yeah. So try to cleaning the board. Killing wow. that one here. You do well. a lot. Since you have much HP it's really nice. Yeah, many possibility this match now is a little bit slower. You will destroy an OT a lot, I think. Yep. He cleaned the board. But, big butt. 
Boys Marine and power on him. So he if he's not killing the noise marine, next round it's already over. Depends on what he's doing. Oh, down on three is bad. You can now use endurance of it. But, yeah. Unlucky, but it's not over yet. So this will be out. We took that out. Wow. Take it. Again, you have to destroy my troops, otherwise, I win this. Uh, so you can destroy that one now. Another noise marine. Now comes his power. I will destroy him and only receive three damage, which is okay. But have a clean deck. This is a really nice ability. Ah, oh, come on, really? Unbelievable! Unbelievable that luck. This is exactly the two cards she needed and he had them. All other cards of this deck couldn't kill me. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, after five really fast wins we got two unlucky rounds, but it's not over. Still five wins in uh, like ten minutes are really strong. This time we replace them all to get a better start hand. Still one life left. Most of the losers were all with one turn uh, from victory, so that means they were almost dead. Turn will keep him busy. Battle's glory. So you
should have attacked him, but now you will kill it. But he will anyway get maybe the three damage, depends on what cards he has. Yeah. I would have got it. Next war, Dark Norman. Yeah, nice. One of the reasons I like this new Warlord, or this only event Warlord, is now the next thingy. Like, two energy troops will be directly destroyed. huge so next round I'm already able to do deal 14 damage maybe I wait with that one more too depends on what he's playing now Again, depends on the next cards. So the first five wins were fast. After five wins, that uh, seems to be that my theory is right. That uh, the algorithm that you play with is the ones with the same winner count means five wins. You play with the other five wins. And this is why when you drop after 6 or 7 wins you play only birds this event because the most player uh, just don't have 6 wins or more. Yeah, nice journey of him. here this will stun both of them and we'll put on the battle's glory so that should be it Next round I can just destroy that one, will only cost me 2 damage, since the new feature, the buff, uh, will heal 2 health points, and this will give a good, great push. Then we are on 6 wins, and then we could maybe get another 12, after we got 12 with action, and the deck from Delphos. This is a suicide commander here. Like this, I heal too. I destroy the front line too. And it's over. Another win. Yeah, at seven minutes this was longer. Yeah, these two looters here were the two battles before, they were only with one turn, so that means that the deck is good. Before that were five fast wins. Yeah, really nice start hand. We keep 
that. So now, Emperor's Children with his Emperor's Children. Also, his initiative is high, that means he starts earlier. Now important thing, uh, battle order only triggers when you do the kill. Like here, I take here, and then I take here. Otherwise, battle order will not trigger. And won't have any positive effect. Yeah, so really nice. I use this ability one, then I can destroy the battlefield, and with that here I can stun him, and end of round. Really nice deck combination. One, 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 one. Oh, three and four. No matter. And ugly. Yeah, in this case, we put out that. Put out Dark Norman. Attack one time. And have a huge advantage.
out a nice combination of Mount Ferris with uh, the Emperor's Children deck. Things of perfection is much better triggered. And this is over for him. What a glorious carnage! So this deck is full power. Five to go. Okay, this takes a long time. I think the algorithm already brought us b behind the point where human enemies are, or really less human enemies. But not sure yet. Yo, again a bot. I will take great pleasure in this combat. Oh, wow. a really nice card will reduce all the costs uh, for one but I want to keep the pressure high and maybe play it later okay what the F also perfection flight so if we uh, gain a really nice troop I will destroy it I go here for the safeness and use the ability and go on this is a dangerous card for example
destroy him. And next round. more oh there's another one with the eight wins it's actual three four k okay, we keep that hand I will take great pleasure in this combat let us begin yeah with a combination of the belt I'm already on 4 energy, which is great. Remember from our first win with Axiop? Don't let that one with one HP live. And he's down on 17 already. He did the correct thing. When you play this troop, first target this troop yourself, then it will get much stronger. So we play. Here and then. And he's down on 12. Clone him. Greedy from him. There would be better options because now he's dead. what I meant. This deck is Carnage. Really fast. 23 HP. 3 minutes. Perfect. 9 wins. Only 3 more wins and we have another 12 win crate. Awesome.
Now we play with our depressive friend here. So next turn we play already Agnomen. Which is a great turn. Thanks to the Warlord ability Without fear we can destroy him, will only cause one damage. And he's on 30. <laughs> to gain perfection use his ability. Gain perfection. Clean the board and he's down on eight. Yeah, we put out here a marine. Noise Marine, death by noise. So it's not over yet. So we do the safety turn here. Six. Only one attack left. And then it's possible that we de uh, do have two twelve win streaks in one stream. Which be, would be new record for me. Two minutes fifty two. 10 wins already, only 2 more wins to go. best bot can also be really 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 dangerous
strong defense satellite of him here. So. We must keep the pressure. 14. Unlucky. Like I said, sometimes uh, with the boards is more creamy than with us. the humans. But I will got it. Only one more win, and we got another twelve. Which would be awesome. Name of this exquisite deck is Exquisite Duel. So last life and last enemy is a human. So let's see. I will take great pleasure in this combat. I am Death Guard no more. So from what I see, he must be also have uh, wow. 12 wins or 11 wins from the algorithm. So this is the Shida. Down on five already. Must use endurance. Down on six again. Six to sixteen.
Yes! We got it! We got it! 2 times 12 wins. First uh, 12 wins with um, Akshab and the deck from Elf, uh, um, Delphos. And yeah, the second time now with XVZ Duel Julius Kazaron, which is a really nice deck. This were really fast. And we got a Fulgrim card back, but we don't got Fulgrim. Maybe. Wow, and two golden cards already. And yeah, this is really, really nice run. This time I won't make another run two 12 times wins. Really nice. We look what we have here. For tomorrow, again an action. And from Delphos, the other 12 win deck. Yeah, so guys, thank you guys for watching. I hope this were a great event guide uh, for what we can play now in the event and what is really good. And yeah, see you the next time. Lupacal.